Ever wonder why your garden doesn't look like the ones in magazines? We've all felt that pang of envy, admiring those lush, vibrant gardens, wishing ours could look the same. But often, we find ourselves grappling with wilted plants, overgrown weeds, and uninvited pests. These are common hurdles every budding gardener faces. But fear not, these are not signs of a green thumb gone wrong but rather learning steps on the road to a flourishing garden. Today, we'll delve into the common mistakes and how to avoid them. Soil is the lifeblood of your garden. It's more than just dirt. It's a complex ecosystem teeming with nutrients and microorganisms that plants need to thrive. It's essential to understand your soil's health because it directly impacts the success of your garden. Neglecting soil testing can lead to garden failure. You wouldn't cook without tasting, would you? The same principle applies to gardening. Soil testing allows you to understand what your soil lacks and how to amend it. Here's the thing. Each plant has its own unique nutrient needs. By knowing your soil's nutrient content, you can tailor your fertilization strategy to meet these needs. And let's not forget about soil pH. This measures how acidic or alkaline your soil is. Some plants prefer acidic soil, others alkaline. A soil test can help you match the right plants to your soil's pH. Remember, healthy soil equals a healthy garden. So get to know your soil, it's the foundation of your garden's success. Watering is crucial, but it's easy to get it wrong. It's all too common for garden enthusiasts to either underwater or overwater their green friends, and both can have dire consequences. Underwatering or not providing enough hydration can leave your plants parched, causing them to wilt and turn brown. Their growth may be stunted, and in severe cases, they might not survive. On the flip side, overwatering is just as detrimental. It's like making your plants live in a swamp. Their roots can become waterlogged and oxygen starved, leading to root rot, a silent killer among plants. The symptoms can be deceptive, with leaves turning yellow and falling off, much like an underwatered plant. The key to avoiding these watering woes is balance. Your plants need a Goldilocks amount of water, not too little, not too much, but just right. So ensure you water deeply and at the right time of day. Choosing the right plants is key. Imagine trying to grow a cactus in the Arctic or a fern in the desert. It's not going to end well. The same principle applies to your garden. Each plant species has its own set of requirements from sunlight to soil type, moisture levels and temperature range. If you try to grow a plant in conditions that aren't suited to its needs, it will struggle to survive, let alone flourish. It's easy to fall in love with a plant at the nursery but, before you bring it home do some research. What kind of soil does it prefer? How much sunlight does it need? Is it drought tolerant or does it thrive in moist conditions? And most importantly, is it suited to your local climate? Remember your garden isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. Each plant you choose should be a perfect fit for your garden's conditions. Always choose plants that will thrive in your specific environment. Pests and diseases can quickly ruin your garden. It's like a ticking time bomb that can explode at any moment, turning your lush green paradise into a wilted wasteland. Pests like aphids and beetles or diseases such as blight or powdery mildew can sweep through your garden, leaving destruction in their wake. A common mistake many gardeners make is ignoring the early signs of these invaders. A single spotted leaf or a few nibbled petals might not seem like a big deal, but it's often the first clue of a larger problem brewing beneath the surface. Think of it as a game of detective. Regularly inspect your plants, particularly under the leaves where pests love to hide. Look out for discoloration, spots, or unusual patterns. These are often the telltale signs of a pest invasion or disease outbreak. And remember, when it comes to managing pests and diseases, early detection and organic treatments are your best defense. Space is vital for your plants to thrive. Imagine being in a crowded room with no fresh air. It's uncomfortable, right? Well, it's the same for your plants. Overcrowding can lead to a host of issues including poor air circulation and increased susceptibility to disease. When plants are too close together, they have to compete for sunlight, water, and nutrients. This competition can stunt growth and leave your plants looking less than their best. And it's not just about the roots. Overcrowded foliage can create a damp, shady environment that is a perfect breeding ground for fungi and pests. Think about it this way. Each plant needs its own personal bubble. This bubble includes sunlight, air, and soil nutrients. If the bubbles are too close, they overlap and problems arise. So, what's the solution? Simple. Give your plants enough space to grow. Follow the recommended spacing guidelines for each plant variety. Remember, a little room goes a long way in keeping your garden healthy. Give your plants room to breathe. Weeds are more than just an eyesore. 
They're silent invaders relentlessly stealing the nutrients and water that your plants need to thrive. Picture weeds as uninvited guests at a party, helping themselves to the buffet meant for your plants. It's a competition out there in the garden, and weeds are notoriously good at winning. Weeds are survivalists. They germinate quickly, grow rapidly, and produce vast amounts of seeds. This makes them formidable opponents for your garden plants. When weeds are left unchecked, they can quickly overrun a garden, stunting the growth of your plants and leaving them starved for essential nutrients and water. But don't be disheartened, you have the power to turn the tide in your garden's favor. Regular weeding can keep these unwanted guests at bay. By weeding often and thoroughly, you can ensure your plants get all the nutrients and water they need. So arm yourself with a good weeder and the knowledge that your efforts are creating a healthier environment for your plants. Regular weeding will keep your garden healthy and beautiful. Mulching is a simple step with big benefits. This humble layer of organic matter or compost spread around your plants is a powerhouse in the garden. It's like the superhero of your soil, fighting off villains like weed growth and soil erosion, while also helping to maintain soil moisture and temperature. Imagine if you skipped this step, what would happen? Your plants would be exposed to the harsh elements prone to drying out too quickly or getting too cold. Weeds could easily invade, stealing precious nutrients and water from your plants. The soil could erode, washing away with heavy rain or blowing away with strong winds. Now, think about the benefits of mulching. It's like giving your plants a protective shield, a cozy blanket, and a steady supply of nutrients all in one. It can even enhance the look of your garden, adding a neat, finished touch. So don't forget to mulch. Your plants will thank you. Pruning is an art and a science. It's the delicate balance of maintaining your garden's aesthetics while promoting its health. But when done incorrectly, it can lead to serious problems. Overpruning, for instance, can leave plants vulnerable to disease and pest infestations. It's like taking a chainsaw to the Mona Lisa. On the other hand, neglecting to prune can also be detrimental. Just as an overgrown beard can make a man look unkempt, an unpruned garden can look disorderly and neglected. More importantly, it can cause your plants to compete for light and nutrients, leading to weak growth and poor yields. Beware of these pruning pitfalls. Remember, every cut is a wound to the plant, and just like any wound, it needs to heal. So, be thoughtful with your snips. Understand your plant's needs and growth patterns. Ultimately, pruning is not just about cutting back, it's about planning for growth. Learn the right way to prune for each type of plant in your garden. A successful garden requires planning. It's not just about choosing your favorite plants and sticking them in the ground. It's about understanding the sunlight your plot receives, the space each plant needs to grow, and the compatibility of different species planted together. Why does this matter? An impulsive plant here or there without thought for their needs can lead to a garden that's more jungle than Eden. Think about it. A sun-loving daisy planted in the shade won't thrive. A watermelon vine needs ample space to spread out and if it's cramped, it could suffocate its neighbors. Certain plants like tomatoes and carrots are great neighbors, helping each other grow, while others like potatoes and carrots compete for nutrients. Planning your garden layout isn't just a suggestion, it's a necessity. It's the difference between a thriving, vibrant garden and a struggling one. So take the time, do the research, and plan your garden with care. Remember a well-planned garden is a happy garden. Remember gardening is a learning process. Each wilted leaf, each overgrown weed, each pest infestation is a lesson, not a failure. Every small setback is a stepping stone to a more vibrant garden. It's okay to stumble, it's okay to make mistakes. What's important is to learn, to grow, and to find joy in the journey. So don't be disheartened by past missteps. Embrace the lessons and let them guide you. So get out there, apply these tips, and watch your garden flourish.